Canine saturation has reached epidemic proportions. An outbreak of snout fever rips through the city of Megasaki. Blizzards of infected fleas, worms, ticks, and lice menace the citizenship. Dog flu threatens to cross the species threshold and enter the human disease pool. In a special midnight session at the Municipal Dome, Mayor Kobayashi of Uni Prefecture issues emergency orders, calling for a hasty quarantine, the expulsion and containment of all breeds, both stray and domesticated. By official decree, Trash Island becomes an exiled colony. The Isle of Dogs. Wait a second. Before we attack each other and tear ourselves to shreds like a pack of maniacs, let's just open the sack first and see what's actually in it. It might not even be worth the trouble. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm not maybe. sure. Uh, maybe. Hi. A rancid apple core, two worm eaten banana peels, a moldy rice cake, a dried up pickle, tin of sardine, bones, a pile of broken eggshells, an old smushed up rotten gizzard with maggots all over it. Okay, it's worth it. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. It's full of toxic chemicals. How do you know? Because my sister-in-law drank it and her tongue turned black. Oh. You're Felix's mate. I beg your pardon? I mean, I, I think you made it with Felix, if I heard it right? That's none of your business. No, no, I, I, I don't suggest whether it actually happened or not. I'm just saying that I, I recognize you from when I heard that rumor. I think I'm gonna say goodnight. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, start over. Who cares about Felix? I'm Chief. <clears throat> That's my name. I see. I'm introducing myself. Who are you? I thought you knew all about me. <laughs> no, I, I don't know anything. I should've kept my mouth shut. It's all hearsay. And anyway, you're nutmeg. So you do know me after all? After all? Yes. Turpentine brandy. It cools the head and warms the dog bones. It may snow tonight. Really? Thank you very much. Wow. To whom it may concern. She sees the future. Ha. Ah, no. She understands TV. You seek a dog named Spots. Dog Zero. Dog Zero. Well, <clears throat> Chief is a, a stray dog who is rounded up with all the dogs in the city of Megasaki. Uh, and he's been exiled on this island. Uh, to live out his days in discomfort because there's a fear of dog flu. It's not real, but um, the rhetoric and the, the propaganda against dogs is believed. So every dog from the city is put on this island called Trash Island. It's the island where they dump all the trash. And symbolic of that is the, the dogs are treated like garbage. Well, a mascot is someone that gets taken along for the ride. When there's going to be a great success, 
the chance of a great success. When there's the chance of a great success, you need a mascot. Someone that's gonna be with you when things get tough, but someone that you're really gonna to want to be there when things go well. Rex describes himself as sleeping on a lamb's wool bean bag next to an electric space heater. He's probably comfortably middle class, maybe upper middle class, but he has work ethic. He's scrappy. At the same time, psychologically, Trash Island is difficult for him. Hmm. I like the, I like I like I admired Spots. I thought Spots was a was a very uh, was a very uh, was a very was a very nice dog. He's a really good. I would love to have a dog like Spots, and it was. Uh, it was very strange to think about how to play him. I just, um, I just felt like he had a real sense of duty and and a real sense of honor and um, really cared about people. Because um, I, you know, I don't normally get to play those kinds of characters. I was stroking this uh, Scotch Terrier, and he bit my thumb, and I started to pull it away, and I couldn't. He wouldn't release. He didn't growl. He just simply bit it and held it. And I almost fainted, but uh, it didn't instill in me a terror of dogs. But I understood from that experience how it could. And I love his name, Duke. It reminds me of, uh, would you know who I'm talking about if I said, Would you know who I was talking about? Of course, Duke Ellington. That's right, Duke Ellington. What does Nutmeg see in Chief? Sort of a survivor. Um, she knows what it's like to lose something and come back stronger and not be afraid of what lies ahead. You know, she, she knows what it's like to be that, that kind of dog. Um, and plus, he, you know, he's just the right amount of bite. When I was little, my, my uh, grandfather and my uncle each owned a kind of a movie studio. Uh, at one point, when I was about 10, I broke my arm and nobody knew what to do with me. So we took a train to Los Angeles. And the day after I got there, they put me in my nicest outfit. You know, I looked like Little Lord Fauntleroy or some, or a Jewish Little Lord Fauntleroy. And I showed up at MGM to watch the filming of a movie called Meet Me in Las Vegas. And I got to sit in a special chair with my name on it. And I think probably after that, you might as well have exposed me to some crystal meth or something at the age of 10 because I craved it ever since that day. <clears throat> and dogs are, they're given by God in a way. And they're, uh, they're a responsibility to, to use not as a servant, but as, uh, as, a, as a sounding board, as a, a demonstration of what your obligation is to life that you must serve. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you know, the ranchers say you got to take care of your cattle before you feed yourself. Oracle is a pug, specifically a companion breed pug. Uh, this breed is often described by the Latin phrase multum in parvo or much in little, or a lot of dog in a small space. The heart of a dog is a bottomless thing. The Japanese archipelago, 20 years in the future. Canine saturation has reached epidemic proportions. An outbreak of dog flu rips through the city of Megasaki. Mayor Kobayashi issues emergency orders, calling for a hasty quarantine. Trash Island becomes an exiled colony. The Isle of Dogs. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Exactly. Same here. Words out of my mouth. Nobody's giving up around here, and don't you forget it. Ever. You're Rex. You're King. You're Duke. You're Boss. I'm Chief. We're a pack of scary, indestructible alpha dogs. Atari Kobayashi, you heroically hijacked a junior turboprop XJ750. Minute, minute. 
and flew it to the island because of the dog. Darn it. I've got a crush on you. We get the idea. You're looking for your lost dog spots. Does anybody know it? No. no. I've lost all of my pride. Spots, if he's alive, may very well be living even at this moment as a captive prisoner. Somebody is up to something. Will you help him? <laughs> the little pilot. Why should I? Because he's a 12-year-old boy. Dogs love those. We'll find him. Wherever he is, if he's alive, we'll find your dog. Ah! It's gonna be a fight! I wish somebody spoke his language. To the north, a long rickety causeway over a noxious sludge marsh leading to a radioactive landfill polluted by toxic chemical garbage. That's our destination. Great. Got it. Get ready to jump.